position and wait for my go. Okay, uh, for those of you that requested uh, to do a tutorial based on Dreamweaver CC, uh, which is previously we have a tutorial uh, with uh, Adobe Dreamweaver CS6. Alright, so uh, CC have a different interface of the tutorials. And then uh, I'm just going to show you where you're going to get uh, the text that you needed uh, that is not provided on Adobe Dreamweaver CS6. Okay. So first of all, uh, you need to launch your uh, Adobe Dreamweaver. All right, so you will have a first interface that looks like this. Okay, so we're going to uh, create new, all right? And then uh, selected HTML. So it should be a uh, doc type HTML5, which is the latest version of HTML. And then uh, click on create. Alright, so uh, I'm going to uh, click on split version as you can see over here. Uh, the code uh, side is on over here, and then the design sites will be here. Okay, so uh, before anything, uh, we're going to input any coding. So, first of all, we have to save our file. So, click on file, save as. Alright, so uh, onto the desktop, I want you guys to create a week one folder. Alright. Okay, so you should name your uh, file index. Alright, so I already have an index uh, with the tutorial for CS6. So I'm not going to replace, so I'm just going to create. Uh, uh, put on index one but you guys should uh, name your file as index okay and then uh, click on save all right so based on the document that you have uh, on the open learning you will see that you will have this a uh, uh, this data okay this uh, the, uh, this text uh, this recipe of simple sponge cake okay Alright, so basically uh, CC and uh, CS6 have similarities, okay? So you will find uh, all the tags uh, that you wanted to input over here uh, on insert, t uh, insert uh, tabs on your right and all the parameters will be over here, okay? So first of all, uh, we're going to input all our information inside the body text okay so i'm just going to give a little bit of uh, enter over here to get the body text and uh, if you look over first here will be a simple sponge cake which is a header okay which is a header so you can find your header over here make sure you click on the inserts click on the html and then underneath the heading okay so you have h1 until h6 okay so uh, the biggest uh, header should be the h1 so click on the h1 and then change this one to simple sponge cake all right okay so uh, next one is the ingredients okay so ingredients uh, should be uh, based on the size is H2 sorry this is not H1 I'm just going to delete it H oh. H2 alright ok H2 stands for ingredients alright and then the notes on ingredient will be here on H3. So by right, you notice right now is that uh, the higher the number, the smaller the text is. Okay. So note on the ingredients. Okay. Just make sure it's level. Okay. H3. And then lastly, the methods. 
okay click on method which is is it smaller uh, same size this ingredient which is h2 okay so method and then lastly the text over here is ingredient which is going to be uh, h2 as well ingredient Alright, okay, so we get all the headers done for now. So all the headers are there. So we're going to proceed for the next one where we put uh, this is what you call uh, an ordered list. Okay, so because it's uh, identified by bullets point. Okay, so for the unordered list, okay, you can click over here. Uh, see, you will notice there is an unordered list over there. So click on unordered list, give it a space uh, because I want to put uh, the listing over here. Alright, so what are the lists that we're going to put? You click a, click on the list. Okay, so uh, three eggs. And then next list is 100. G of caster sugar caster sugar all right okay last one should be uh, 85 G of self raising flower so click here on the list 85 G self raising flower right okay so we have that already our unordered list down here so notes on the ingredient okay so uh, you notice that uh, we already have created notes for the ingredients so I'm just going to copy and paste do not copy and paste on the design parts okay but rather than copy and paste uh, on the coding parts because we wanted to use the tags uh, that were together with the text okay so we copy and paste from here okay so give it a space so I know where I want to input okay so you know the structure okay so uh, notes on the ingredients which is uh, we're going to use a definition a list on this time okay on this area okay so underneath over here we okay so if you notice over here uh, what's the difference between cs6 and cc is that okay you cannot find the definition list over here okay uh, because uh, as they uh, progressively improve their software okay so they find out that definition is less used in uh, making a website design so they hide it inside their libraries so you can find uh, the preset uh, text inside the library okay so where you can find it over here uh, click on tools uh, tag library okay so it was sorted uh, using uh, alphabet alphabetic order okay so over here you will have to name your list first click on the L's okay so from here you will provide what are the text preview okay, so we just copy and paste the DL okay for the DL area click on OK and it's over there DL all right so make sure I'm going to hit tabs okay so uh, that is the definition list and then what are the definition terms of that okay I'm going to delete D a preset text so underneath over here to tag library uh, would be down on the definition terms DT where I can find DT okay okay there you go all right so copy paste over there so I do not want the tech content 
okay so the tech content will be a case the sugar okay so I'm just going to go pay and paste before I have done it previously okay case the sugar all right so you can see over there and then underneath uh, case the sugar which is the DD definition tools tag library uh, go down to D you find DD over there all right copy and paste from there and then paste it underneath the tag content I'm just going to delete the tag content and then by right uh, finely granulated white sugar it should be the all right so uh, so it will be the same with uh, the next level okay so it will be the same thing as well self raising flower premix okay the same text so i want you guys to try to input it uh, yourself using the tag library okay so uh, you have input self raising flower and a premix of flower and divining agents uh, successfully okay so now we move on underneath okay so see how I structured my coding this way so I know what are the section uh, are doing okay so I can go back if I wanted to edit in the future okay so uh, methods so you should by right you should know now a method is using heading so you can click over here or you can copy and paste from the previous one H2 methods methods so please uh, please do be mindful that you should not be deleting any text okay oh this inserts Okay, so I accidentally hit insert on my keyboard, so it deleted uh, whatever that is afterwards. Okay, so methods over there. Okay, so if you look at a, a, a list like this that have a numbering, this is what you call a uh, ordered listing. Okay, alright, so uh, to input ordered listing will be over here. It will be written over there, ordered list. Okay, so ordered list. So in the text, you have to identify what are the lists that you're going to input. So the list item, first one will be preheat the oven. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste over there. So see, you will see a numbering. Okay, will appear. Okay, list. What are the lists? Next one is a, a grease a twenty cm around the cake pan. So uh, just repeat the process until you have all the listing. Okay, so click on list. Okay, so there you go. One, two, three. Okay, so you just continue until you have seven lists. Okay, so now you already have all the seven lists together. So the last one, uh, you have to input a unordered list. Uh, with your name and your ID okay so uh, again choose an ordered list from here okay so automatically you put a list for you wow okay so list would be your name and then the other one is a Uh, your ID okay so uh, I want you guys uh, to input your name and your ID at the unordered list okay so and then uh, afterwards you just save your file okay so if you open your browse uh, your your folder week once you will see that okay this is the file that you have created okay you can uh, try to preview it using your browser Okay, so there you go uh, you have successfully uh, created oh wrong so or the list it should be ul okay wrongly 
click on that okay my bad okay so all right there you go okay so you have successfully created a simple web page uh, using an html okay so please uh, i want you guys to i want you guys to uh sub oh i'm okay this one should be an ordered list as well ul okay this one should be ul all right okay so i'm just going to change up okay okay so uh i want you guys to to zip your week one folder okay so zip your week one folder send to compress zip and then uh, we create a file like this so this is the file that you need to submit for your open learning okay please do submit that file uh, for your attendance okay uh, i'll see you guys next week